is Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about prime factorization. I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite topics in math. I think you'll see. Okay, what does prime factorization mean? It means that any composite number is actually can be composed of a series of prime numbers. Take a look at an example. Let's say I had the number 8. They say that I actually can compose 8 with other prime numbers. So I think that 8 is the same thing as saying 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and look at that, my 2's are prime numbers. And we can do this with bigger numbers. And to do it with bigger numbers, we can do one of two methods to find the prime factorization, meaning find the prime numbers that make up our number. So let me show you the first one. It's called a factor tree. I have a number here, 75, and we're going to look for the prime factors that make up 75. And you just start with numbers that you know when multiplied together equal 75. So I'm going to start with the number 25 and 3. 25 times 3 is 75. Now here I stop and take a look and I say, are any of these numbers prime? And we do have a prime number. The number 3 is prime. So I don't have to deal with this number anymore. But 25 is not prime. 25 has factors other than 1 and 25. So let's factor the 25. And I just put these two little branches on it. That's why it's called a factor tree. What times what is 25? 5 times 5 is 25. And now I look at my numbers again. Are these prime numbers? Yep, 5 is a prime number. So that means I have reached the end of the road. 5 times 5 times 3. And how I write the, the prime factorization is just like that. But I'm going to start with the small number. 3 times 5 times 5 is the prime factorization for 75. Let's try it with another number. My number is 120. And I'm going to pick 40 times 3. It doesn't really matter where you start in your factor tree. I'm just going to do 40 times 3, because 40 times 3 gives me 120. Now I look and I say, are these numbers prime? Well, we know 40 is not, because it's an even number. But 3 is, so I can circle my 3. And now I'm going to factor again my 40. I'm going to do 20 times 2. And I look and I see, are these numbers prime? Well, 20 is not, right? Because we know it's even and there's some factors there. But 2 is prime, right? It's the only even number that is prime. So we're done with the 2. We're going to keep going on the 20. How about 4 times 5 for the 20? Is 4 prime? Nope. So we'll keep going on the 4. But 5 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. And we know that 4 is the same thing as saying 2 times 2. And we already know that 2 is prime, so guess what? We are done. All there is to do is now to write it. And we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. That is the prime factorization for 120. The factor tree is one way to do factoring. There is another way called division by prime. So let me show you that way. We're going to use the number 150, and I'm going to do something a little strange. I'm going to start writing at the bottom of my board. Here's why. I'm going to put 150 in, make that a little nicer, there we go, 150 under my division bar. And I'm going to start with the first prime number. I'm going to say, does 2 go into 150? And it does. So we're going to do uh, the mental math to figure out the division. 2 goes into 15 7 times, 1 is left over, and then 2 goes into 10 5 times. So that's the first layer of my division by primes. And then I go again. Does 2 go into 75? No, it does not. Now I go to the next prime number, which is 3. And I see, does 3 go into 75? Well, remember, the divisibility test for 3 is you add the digits together. 7 and 5 is 12. That means 3 can go into 12, so 3 can go into 75. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put my 3 here, and there's my division bar again. 3 into 75, let's do the mental math. 3 goes into 7 two times. 
with one left over, three goes into 15 five times. Okay, are we done? Is 25 a prime number? It is not, so we have to keep going. So we start again. Can three go into 25? It cannot. So, because why? Because five and two is seven, not divisible by three. So let's move to the four. Oh, actually not four, because four is a composite number. We only want prime number, because this is division by primes. Let's move to five, the next prime number. Can five go into 25? Yes, it can. So let's do it. Five into 25 goes five times. Are we done? Well, five is a prime number, but we do division by primes until we get to the number one. So we're going to do this one more time. Five can go into five one time. And when one is on top, and when one is the... Whoa, I dropped my marker. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. When one is the king of the castle, you can stop your division by primes. And now we just write our numbers. We have... 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 5 is 150. And that's it. So now I've shown you a factor tree and division by primes. Let's make sure we try a few practice examples so you can get really good factoring by either of these two methods. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.